I'm Judy Hecker, director of IPCNY. I'm here on the first day of our reopening since more than six months of physical closure in our gallery, and it's quite emotional. But we never really closed our doors. We opened new doors online to audiences across the country and across the globe with digital exhibitions, 3D exhibition tours, Zoom panel discussions, and so much more. So what is IPCNY? IPCNY is Emerging Printmakers. Priceless, really. The International Print Center for Artists is priceless. IPCNY is my paper print family, our paper print family. IPCNY is a hub for layers, process, multiples, and the social. Uh, it was really like a hub where people came together and we could talk about what we loved, which was printmaking. It's a place for people to get together from all around the world to share their story and hear other people's voices through print. IPCNY is incubator, facilitator, enabler. Although tiny in size, IPCNY is gargantuan in ambition and impact. I think our program has always championed artists at all moments in their careers. This has evolved in exciting ways as we bring new and diverse voices to the gallery, whether as an artist in residence, as a mentor or mentee in our professional development program, or as an artist from another region who is exhibiting in New York for the first time. New Prints is a twice a year juried exhibition that's been going on at IPCNY since the very beginning. It's an open call and it casts a wide net in 2017, IPCNY added the Artist Development Program to the New Prints Program, which was sort of an extra way for IPCNY to help nurture uh, young printmakers' careers. There's an in-house small studio that's available, and there's also a, a partnership with Robert Blackburn Workshop and Lower East Side Print Shop. As an artist and trustee of IPCNY, it's exciting to see works go from the new Prince program on these walls to go to major museums uh, around the world. My works were part of the new Prince Winter 2018 exhibition at IPCNY. That was the first time for me to work in the New York City and uh, after that my career has uh, really changed a lot. I believe that IPCNY believes in cultural diversity. They understand how histories and culture are so connected to each other and the way they are supporting young and emerging artists from all over the world um, who are doing great in the field of filmmaking is, uh, is, is, is great. We're the only nonprofit exhibition space wholly devoted to the medium of prints, which means we're a flagship hub for the medium. We provide a platform for new and critical works by artists. We're an exhibition space for unrestricted dialogue by curators who are uncovering new scholarship and look at the vital issues of our times through the lens of printmaking. IPCMY supports focused, critical exhibitions and the voices of independent and under-recognized scholars who present original and compelling research and urgent perspectives that might not find a platform elsewhere. Exhibitions like Edge of Visibility present the unusual strategies and the resulting profound meaning of prints with a reduced level of visibility, or Pulled in Brooklyn, the first exhibition to highlight the deep network of printers in that robust historic borough. Hi, I'm Natasha Becker and I'm one of the curators of this exhibition. Living in America is an exhibition in four acts. What you see around me in the gallery are acts one and act two, which evolve around the themes of outrage and love. We were very excited by the opportunity to curate this exhibition at IPCNY and to work with Judy Hecker and her amazing team to realize the exhibition and the openness of the organization to independent curators and to collaboration and to exploring printmaking in this expanded um, visual culture of protest and action and activism. Prints are a unique medium. At the same time, they're ubiquitous. Prints are everywhere in our world. They're wheat pasted on the streets for protest. They are a means of creative collaboration between artists and printers. They are intimate gems, but their formats also have no bounds. They are affordable and they are collectible. 
We are an educational space for all ages and backgrounds, building a passion for a medium that is all about accessibility. We are small, 1,500 square feet and a staff of five, but we think big. The New York Times called us a scrappy nonprofit space and gave us our first review with a landmark show, Black Pulp. New York Magazine named our first fully digital exhibition this spring as one of their top choices, just above the frick. Ann Coffin opened IPCNY 20 years ago with a vision, and I've had the privilege of being director the past four years. And you, all of you, have supported us and stood by us through it all. During this pandemic, your support has never been more critical because our typical sources of funding are and will be under great stress. And so we need your partnership and generosity now more than ever. There are a few places in the art world where each and every donation can have such a big impact.